In the previous NeoVim video, we've created a very simple NeoVim configuration and used lazy.envim as a package manager. And today, we are going to expand upon it, replace lazy with home manager, learn to package our own NeoVim plugins with Nix, and assign configuration files to the existing ones. We are obviously going to use home manager for the configuration, so if you don't have it set up, check out the home manager video on the channel. Open your home manager config, and let's start by simply enabling NeoVim program option. Just adding NeoVim to your packages is sufficient to install it, but this way also lets Home Manager manage it. Configuring NeoVim is also extremely easy, so let's get straight to it. And the first thing we can do here is enable Vi, Vim and Vimdiff aliases. So just in case some program wants to use one of those, it will automatically be redirected to NeoVim binary. And the next thing is obviously adding some Lua configuration. I've changed the directory structure a little bit, because we no longer need plugin and plugin list files. You can find both versions in the description by the way, so if you need to copy anything shown in the video, feel free to do so. Home Manager provides us with the extra Lua config option, where we could simply dump all of our files from the previous video. However, we have not configured any plugins yet, so let's simply start with options.lua. We are going to use this built-in read file function inside, and as the name suggests, it will simply read the entire content of the file and place it inside this string using string interpolation. All right. Our NeoVim now has a bunch of default options set, but further configuration obviously requires plugins, so let's add them now. Using a plugins option, we can place any of the plugins from Nix packages inside. Luckily packaging Vim plugins is extremely simple, and NeoVim itself is very popular, so most of the ones you want will already be inside Nix packages. I am going to include all of the ones we had in the previous video, and as usual, you can make it more concise by using a width at the top. Three-seater code highlighting grammars can also be installed here, with this simple syntax. And now we have a choice to make. We can either just dump all of the plugin configuration files into the extra Lua config, or we can make it a little bit cleaner, by providing configs to the plugins directly in the packages, making it extremely easy to manage them in the future. All you have to do is simply define a set anywhere in the plugins and add two keys inside, plugin itself and the config, which accepts a string with code, so let's try adding comment.envims configuration there. Looks great, but there is a problem. The simple Lua line won't work, because Vim plugins only accept Vim script. We could just use this special syntax to call Lua code from inside Vim script, and that would actually work, but it looks horrible. So let's address this issue. We will use let in syntax somewhere at the top and define a new variable there. This variable is going to actually contain a function that will only take one parameter and return a simple string with this parameter interpolated inside. And while we're at it, let's also create another function to read file content and interpolate it into the same place. Now we can go back and make the configuration file a little bit cleaner. Use the function that we have just created to assign simple configurations to Lua plugins our second function to link actual Lua files, and plain strings for plugins that can be configured with simple Vim script onliners. And now our entire configuration from the previous video is ported to Nix, but we have not talked about one very important thing yet, and that is adding your own plugins. New NeoVim plugins are being created daily, and there is no way Nix packages is going to get all of them immediately. Luckily for us though, adding our plugins is extremely simple, and it gets even simpler if you use Flakes. Let's say that we want to use one dark color scheme, which is obviously already packaged in Nix packages, but just pretend that it isn't. All we have to do is open our flake and add a new input there. This input is going to have one dark git repo set as a URL, and also flake set to false. We have just achieved the same thing that we could get by manually using a fetch from git function like shown here, but with the flake doing all of the work for you. And if you are wondering where this part went, it is just going to be generated in the flake.log file automatically and it will also update on its own each time we update the flake. Now expose the inputs to the outputs, and pass inputs to home manager with extra special args. Don't forget to also include inputs at the top of the home manager configuration file, so we can use our plugin there. What we are going to do next is extend Nix packages with our plugin. This might look complicated, but bear with me. We are going to define a Nix packages field anywhere in the home manager configuration, and it is going to contain overlays array, where we can put all of our overlays. We haven't talked about them on the channel yet, but there is nothing complicated really. As you can see, it is just a function that accepts two arguments. We could call them whatever we want, but final and previous is generally the preferred ones. Think of them like this. Final is the Nix packages that you are going to get after modifying the previous Nix packages. Sounds simple, right? So what we are doing is just extending the Vim plugin set in Nix packages with our plugins by taking the previous version of it and using an update operator 
that is going to put missing elements from the next set into the previous one. And inside this set, we are just going to list all of our plugins, like this plugin Wandark from the inputs, which is going to be created with the Nix packages build -win plugin function. It is required, so Nix understands that this random git repo that we are trying to shove into plugins is actually a Win plugin. All of the code is in the link in the description, by the way, so you can simply copy this part and only worry about modifying a couple of lines inside. After all of this, we can simply add this plugin to plugins array the same way like we would do with any other plugin, and we can even provide it with its own configuration. Our setup is looking amazing already, but we can still improve it by also providing the required dependencies in extra packages. We can't forget that Nix is a package manager after all, so your NeoVim config can now be a batteries included experience. Simply use extra packages and place your desired programs there. You probably want to have Xclip or VL clipboard to copy and paste on XOR Corvalent, and also some LSPs that you are sure you are going to use frequently, like Lua LSP or RNix. You can really place anything there and not worry about forgetting that one dependencies on every new installation. And now I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, specifically Hoskins for a 10 euro per month subscription, Linux Rocks for a 10 euro per month subscription, Not A Nut for a 5 euro per month subscription, and also Polycrelate for a recent 1 euro donation. As you can see, we now have three horsemen of keeping the channel going. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.